Aloha mai kako and welcome to an exciting junior year uh, in English 11. Uh, I'm Mr. Goto. I created this video to uh, quickly go over the course description which I want you to read in full but this video will highlight the information that you need to know right away and some of the key things uh, about the course. Along with the course description you also have a syllabus which uh, maps every single day for the entire quarter all of the assignments and in-class assignments. It allows you to take ownership for your learning and allows you to actually work ahead of time, uh, understanding that you have a very busy schedule. The materials for the course is basically to just to have your laptop. We work extensively with the Blackboard website and the texts have been PDF'd for you so that you don't have to buy any books. Uh, technology is a gift, so make sure you follow all the ethical guidelines of the gift that you are given. Uh, plagiarism is a serious offense. Um, your juniors now, you should know what plagiarism is. Be sure to uh, do your own work and cite your sources when used. And if you're ever not sure, make sure that you ask. The grading for this course is weighted by categories. Uh, as you can see here, from writing to reading to classwork to participation and character to grammar quizzes. The final exam is worth 20% of your overall semester grade and everyone takes the final. Okay, some of the general class rules for this course. Be on time, ready, and seated before the bell rings. If the bell rings and you're in your seat, you're on time. Uh, make your cell phones and earphones invisible. It means pack them away before you get here and make the choice not to take them out during class. Please make your food invisible as well. If you are really hungry, you can go outside and, and eat your food, but please do not bring your food into the classroom uh, visibly. Uh, drinks are okay. Stay hydrated. If you need to use the restroom, just get up and go. Um, you don't need to ask. Ask. Uh, sign out in the daily log uh, so that we know where you're going. And make sure that you go to the restroom and come straight back. It's not a time to talk to friends. Uh, you are in class. We work from bell to bell to maximize the learning. Uh, and you, and uh, make sure that you uh, go to the bathroom and come straight back. Not a time to socialize. Please be in dress code at all times and follow the school rules. Um, bring your laptop to every class and please only be working on English uh, materials in your class, in the, our class. Refrain from excessive off-task conversation or off-task laptop use. And number eight, uh, please be kind to each other. Like ripples, throwing a pebble in the pond, the ripples go out. Make sure that you're spreading good and positive ripples to each other. Uh, number nine, follow directions as given and observe the general rules as stated in the handbook. And then ten is uh, to have fun and create a lot of great memories and friendships and to learn a lot and really enjoy this course. Uh, it's designed for you um, and to uh, help you to be the person that you want to be uh, and that you already are uh, and to grow and to flourish. Class participation, that category of 15% uh, is really simple. If you're here in class and you're a positive and productive addition to the class, uh, it's a free 15%. It's a free point per day. Uh, lack of participation is given for excessive absences. It's hard to participate when you're not here. Uh, tardies, um, any off-task behavior, including uh, talking and laptop use. Um, and infractions of basic school and our classroom rules. That's things like dress code or like the policy on cell phones, earphones, uh, and food, um, or any kind of behavioral incident that takes away from our learning environment. Um, please also make sure that you bring your materials, uh, and for that class, it's the laptop. What you should expect out of me? Well, the top five have to do with being a kind and caring and professional teacher, um, which I strive my best to be. Um, and then number six uh, is that you, I will try to grade things and return it to you by the following class and then update the grade in KS Connect um, by that following class. So your current grade uh, should always reflect your actual current grade um, that you have. The guideline on late work, late work is not accepted uh, for time-sensitive assignments, meaning assignments less than uh, 50 points. Uh, worth less than 50 points. Late work is accepted on major assignments, generally assignments 50 points or more. And the policy is one class day late is minus one letter grade, like an A to a B. And uh, two class days late, though, is a 0%. 
with that said, I know things that happen in life. Um, make sure you communicate to me. Ask uh, for extensions. Extensions work best if you can do it prior to when things are due. And if you can email it to me, then I have a nice record of it um, so that you can communicate what's going on. Not all extensions are granted. Okay, let's have a great uh, junior year.